Now, take that first step to improving your life. In today's show, you'll learn how to get a better than photographic memory, which can be your secret weapon to make more money. Get a better job, get better grades, cut study time in half, impress your coworkers, get a promotion, have incredible self-confidence, and never have one of those senior moments ever again. I could remember a hundred clients, two hundred properties, and when someone would come into my office and I knew their name and what their needs were, they thought that I was their special agent. This has made me a millionaire many times over and has proven to me that memory power means money power. Actually, I started using the systems when I was in sales, increased my salary tenfold, literally overnight, learned how to work much less and get A's for it. I decided to use the memory system and uh, my work output increased and people began to notice, my boss noticed and I became his assistant and ultimately I've doubled my salary. I memorized the vocabulary, 20 presidents, the 10 bill of rights, the link and the calendar. Pretty good, huh? Thanks to Harry Lorraine's memory power system, my memory is better today than it ever was before. Who's the amazing person that's changed the lives of people all over the world? Harry Lorraine, the world's foremost memory training specialist. He's been teaching his proven techniques for over 50 years, and they're used by hundreds of thousands of people. He's taught and inspired thousands at Fortune 500 companies. His books have sold over 17 million copies and have been translated into every major language. You've read about Harry in newspapers and magazines all over the world. Today, you will hear from everyday people who have found success in business, students who get better grades with much less study time, and even celebrities, politicians, and TV talk show hosts. You may think that doing a talk show is easy. After all, it looks easy. But one of the problems is that often you have to remember a lot of things, like names and facts and dates. I've never been really great at memory, but all that changed when, early in my career, I met a man who was the world's foremost authority on memory, and his name is Harry Lorraine. And stay tuned to see how Harry remembers the names and faces of nearly an entire Johnny Carson audience. I should point out that these people were not arranged. Harry Wilde briefly this afternoon introduced themselves and we didn't put them in any particular order. It's an amazing demonstration. And now, here to tell you how you can have a better than photographic memory is your host, the famous cat. Here's a really good book uh, uh, on a ability to uh, improving your memory. It's called Memory Makes Money, and the author is a gentleman we've had on the New York quite a few times back in New York, uh, if I can remember back that far. <laughs> Would you welcome Harry Lorraine. Is I right? How many times in New York? 21 times. 21 times all 21 together. times. I was looking over here. Did you see I that? I did not see that until a little while ago. Now, that shows you how, uh, oh boy. how long ago this was. Now, this had to be early 60s, I guess? 63, I 64? And look, we had jet that? black hair. Jet black hair. And look at the sideburns. Was I ahead of my time? Yeah. Or was that, was that the style? I, I guess that, uh, that was hip, I guess, in the 60s. Yeah. Why is it that people think? Uh, is, is, it, is it a fallacy when people say... I'm older now, I don't remember as well. Oh, gosh, it's one of society's myths, Johnny. It's, oh, of course. Our, mem our memories get better as we get older. I have a, a section in the book called Staying Graying yeah. Power, and I talk just about that. You know, how does the person, let's say over 40, right. how does that person make himself or herself indispensable in business? Right. Uh, how does he get the edge? Uh, how does he make himself noticed? How does the woman that has helped her husband go through college, right. raise the family, wants to get back into the job market, she needs that business edge, and I don't yeah. care what the age is. And, uh, gosh, I'm so proud of one of the letters in, in that uh, book from a guy who had a stroke, and he was in his 70s. And his doctor told him, of course, that you'll never remember again. Yeah. You know, the mind is the first to go. And it's a function of age, which is completely wrong. He learned my systems, and he says that now his memory is better than before the stroke. It's really a training technique, isn't it? You, oh, you have sure. certain little... Uh, principles, and you're going to give us a short demonstration. I will. And then you're going to go into the audience later and did something that you did for us in New York some years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. Uh, on, on a short course, uh, you use the monomic system or the? Yeah, well, you know, I don't. 
I don't like to use big words that scares yeah. the heck out of people. You know, we all have great memories. The word association, is that it? Yeah, it's yeah. association. But, you know, that's been an ephemeral word till I came along. It's really yeah. not. It's a, it means connection. That's yeah. all it means. It's based on the reminder principle. You know, we all do this. We go through life seeing something and saying, oops, that reminds me. Yeah. And that's the phenomena I use. It's, it's a natural kind of thing. Names and faces, I'll teach you a little bit about that. We have right. some pictures here. The cliche I've heard all my life is... Oh, I recognize your face, but I don't remember your name. You know, in my long and happily successful career, I've never heard it said the other way around. I've never heard anybody say, oh, I know your name, but I don't recognize your face. face. <laughs> you know, I've never heard it that way. So you, so you type, now we have some pictures here. Yeah. I don't know who these people are. I'm going to make up names uh, uh, for them, and I'll teach you how to remember them. All right, now here's, here's, here's a fellow. You're going to make up a name for this man. I'll make up a name, yeah. Uh, look, this man's name is Mr. Fleming. Mr. Fleming. Yeah, now the first thing you have to do is make the name meaningful. There's so much more to this than I could do in a short time. All right, time. he's got a bushy mustache. Would that yes. help? Yes, it will, but first make the name meaningful. Meaningful. Think of flaming, let's say. Flaming is enough. There's that reminder principle to remind you of Fleming. Now, use the mustache or the Yeah, but if speech. I did flaming and I met him, I'd say, you're the gay guy, all right? <laughs> that, wouldn't that... Gay guy is all right. It's better than hey guy, yeah, which okay. is what we, you know, we usually so, do. So, flaming, all right. Of course. So, that'll remind you of Fleming. But look what I've made you do. See, I have, I say, and I've said for years, that even, even if my systems don't work, they must work. Yeah. It sounds contradictory. But it's true because look what I forced you to do. In order to do that little thing I just taught you, you had to listen. Yeah. Most people don't listen. They don't forget names. They don't hear them in the first place. So you say that he's got a flaming, large mustache, Fleming. And that'll flaming. remind you of Fleming. Okay. Sure. Let's try another one. Here, how about here's a no, here's this, an attractive that's Miss, group. What's yeah, her name? Tropiano. 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 Now, make it meaningful. Think of throw piano. You're throwing a piano. Look at that strong chin. Right. Look at those good character lines from yeah. uh, uh, nose to corners of mouth. If you see pianos being thrown out of that throw piano... And sometimes the more ludicrous the word definitely. picture, the easier it is to remember. Exactly yeah. my point, that I want the face to throw remind a, you throw a piano. of right. the name. All right, now here's a fellow that uh, has got a receding hairline. He's, right. got, he's wearing a... I'm going to give you a tough name here. This, right, this will be the last one we do because we don't want to... Okay, to all right. His name is Puck Shiva. Puck, Puck yeah, it's spelled with a lot of C's and Y's and Z's, but think of it. Think of a hockey puck on the ice shivering. Puck shiver. Yeah. Now see, see that puck coming out of that forehead, all those sideburns. Huh? Now, this sounds silly, but this is why it works. Yeah, exactly. This is why, why. it works. Why don't you mix those up and see if you remember now, those three? Three is not really, a, you know, a good test. All right, all right, there's Mr. Mr. Do you, people do you know it? Mr. Yeah. Mr. Fleming. Yeah. All right, now what are you going to do with this? Tropiano, yeah. yeah. all right? And Bakshiva, because they're silly word pictures exactly. and easy to remember. And I do that, incidentally, let me qualify now. You know, I'm going to go out and try to do this in the audience right. with, I don't know, a couple hundred people. Right. And people will say, why do you want to remember that many? The answer is you don't. I, I, I teach you how to do it, so it's like swinging three bats to help it make it okay. easy to swing one. We're going to take a break, and then Harry's going to go into the audience. No, 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 right well, the, go right now. Should I do it right you now? You do it right now, Harry. We're going to turn the lights on. Okay. Why don't we do it this way? With the few people who gave me their names at any time today, would you just rise at your seat so I can see? Oh, my Lord. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try to... Not only do I want to remember your faces, I also want to remember your... I want to remember both. So what I'll do is I'll call your name and point to you, and then if I'm right, you can sit down, and I'll do it as quickly as I can, okay? Starting from here, that's Miss Moss, Mr. Hughes, Miss Sprague, Miss Zamost. Did I say that right? I think I said it better than you do. Okay, right over here <laughs> is Miss Otto. This is Miss Blythe, Miss Emmeling, Miss Norn, this is Michael Norn, this is Mr. Lynch, uh, right over here now, this is Miss Herzman, this is Mr. LaCroix, I knew I'd have trouble with yours, I'll get to it in a minute, Mr. Halton, Mr. I want to make sure I get the Telefer. Did I say that right, Mr. Telefer? Okay, I'll get, I'll get to you in a minute. Right here, it's Mr. and Mrs. Mears. This is Mr. Spear. Mrs. Spear, first name Sylvestri. She told me they didn't know how to spell Sylvia, I think. Uh, Silvery. Okay, right over here, Miss Alter, Mr. and Mrs. Urban. Uh, Miss Bransky. Uh, am I going too high up here so I don't want to we, confuse Mr. McCusick and Mr. Batone and Mr. Barker? Those are the cameramen. Oh. See, how about, I think you're, I didn't... Thank you. 
I'll get to you in a minute. I figure that way they'll make me look taller, see? Now, right over here, it's Mr. and Mrs. DiBiase. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Mr. and Mrs. Fernandez. Mr. and Mrs. Skirta. No, no, save it for the end. Uh, right on. Mr. and Mrs. Warafka, right? I'll get to you. <laughs> uh, right over here, Mr. Egan, Miss Boyd, you took your jacket off. You look different. He said, hi, Mom. Okay, Miss Zellman. Miss Kelman. Uh, Miss Leg. Miss Schwartz. Mr. Dodge. Uh, Mr. Billings. Mr. and Mrs. Kilgore. That, those are the Mildners. Mr. Mildner. The Mrs. Milda Wayne Milda, why I'm, I'll get to you in a second. I didn't forget your name. I, 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 I didn't forget your standing, <laughs> but I didn't forget your name. Mrs. Maddox, you change seats. Oh, okay, Mr. Maddox, you're allowed. Uh, right over here, Miss Hall, Mr. And Mrs. Wilson, uh, Mr. And Mrs. Herrera, Mr. And Mrs. Adair, Mr. And Mrs. Puckert. I hope I said it right. Okay, whoops. Funny, I broke my leg. Uh, uh, I'm, uh, uh, Eklund, Mr. Mrs. Eklund, Mr. Hatcher. Uh, right in this area, I got, I got one minute, so I'm just gonna try to, of course I wanna, <laughs> I gotta get that one. <laughs> Miss Klosserath, Mr. and Mrs. Young, Mr. and Mrs. Jennings, Mr., did I get it right, Mr. and Mrs. Thompson, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Patterson, okay, okay, Miss Alberelli, uh, Miss Wood, Miss Forgette, uh, Mr. Sawasa, and Miss Sawasa, Mirabili, Mirabili and Webb, and I think I better, I hate to leave you all standing there, Mr. and Mrs. Johnson, sit down, I say, Mr. Moore, I'm gonna have 30 seconds, okay. I've got a call, I'm sorry I don't have time to get you, Pentecostal is such a good, uh, uh, Mr. La Revere, did I get it right? Mr. La Revere, get it, get it. That's amazing. Harry, that's amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing stuff. I should point out, I should point out that these people were not arranged very well, briefly this afternoon, introduce themselves, and we didn't put them in any particular order. It's an amazing demonstration. Well, thank you, but you know, I do want to qualify and say that anybody could do it. I, you yeah. know, I, I like to brag and <laughs> we, say we have that to I'm cut, I can't guy. forget to do this or Don't I'm out of a job. It. We'll be right back. <laughs> The book is Memory Makes Money by Harry Lorraine. Nice to have you here again. It's good to be here. Michael, thank you. Tomorrow night, we have a lot of people. Tomorrow night, James Garner will be with us, Parker Romo, Shorty Sullivan, and Mr. Fleming will join us. <laughs>